Let's take a look at some strategies that you need to know for identifying complete and simple predicates. We will begin with a sentence that follows a regular sentence pattern, S plus V plus PP. The baby puppy has opened its eyes for the first time. The first step is to identify the sentence pattern. If the subject comes before the verb, then it follows the normal sentence pattern, S plus V plus PP. Next, find the simple predicate in the sentence and place a dividing line to the left of the verb. Opened is the main verb, but since has is the helping verb, the dividing line goes right before has. With this sentence pattern of S plus V plus PP, everything to the left of the verb or verb phrase is the complete subject. So everything to the right of the dividing line is the complete predicate. Make sure that you include all words beginning from the verb all the way to the end of the sentence. When locating the simple predicate, you need to include the main verb of the sentence and all of the verb's helpers. In this example, the verb phrase is has opened. You will find the simple predicate within the complete predicate. The simple predicate is either what the subject does, showing action, such as has opened, or a simple predicate that links a noun or an adjective back to the subject identifying or describing it. Here's an example. The puppy is being playful with the children. Is being is the simple predicate or verb phrase. Being is the main verb and is linking the adjective playful back to the subject puppy. Let's take a look at another example of a regular sentence pattern with a visiting phrase at the beginning. In the backyard, my dad quickly built the largest doghouse for the puppies. First, identify the sentence pattern. In this sentence, the pattern is PP, comma, plus S plus V. The comma after the prepositional phrase lets you know that that visiting phrase belongs to the complete predicate and can be moved to the back of the sentence. You can put a dividing line through the comma to show a division. You then look for the simple predicate in the sentence and place the dividing line to the left of the verb. The simple predicate means that I'm looking for the main verb of the sentence and all of the verb's help helpers. The main verb in this sentence is built. When I look right before the main verb, I notice that there are no helpers, but there's an adverb that is modifying the verb built, telling how he built that doghouse. He quickly built it. So you want to include the adverb or helping verbs as part of the complete predicate. That means that I will break my sentence right before the adverb quickly. Everything after the comma at the beginning of the sentence and before the verb is the complete subject. So you will identify the remaining parts as the complete predicate. The complete predicate of this sentence is in the backyard, quickly built the largest doghouse for the puppies. Now, if you have a sentence pattern where the subject comes before the verb, remember that this is a normal sentence pattern. So if you have subject, plus prepositional pl phrase, plus verb, you still look for the simple predicate to divide the sentence in half. The prepositional phrase within the complete subject will always be an adjective phrase that belongs to the subject. Here's an example. The baby puppy on the dog bed belongs to me. First, identify the sentence pattern, which is S plus PP plus V. Locate the verb, belongs, and place a dividing line to the left of it. Everything to the left of the dividing line is the complete subject. The prepositional phrase, on the dog bed, is an adjective phrase modifying the noun puppy, telling me which puppy. If your sentence begins with a verb and gives a command, remember that the subject is understood you. This is called an imperative sentence. Here's an example. Get the puppy out of the doorway. The sentence pattern is still S plus V, and even though the subject is invisible, the complete and simple subject is you. You will need to place the dividing line right before the verb get. And everything from the verb all the way to the end of the sentence is your complete predicate. And get would be your simple predicate. These are the regular sentence patterns that you need to remember. S plus V plus PP or if it's imperative, it would be V plus PP, PP comma plus S plus V, and S plus PP plus V.